Hello to all friends and fans of the pulp, paper and bioproducts industries. Welcome to our exciting Spectrum podcast, where we'll be talking to Andrus experts about the new and innovative lime bio powder system for replacing the use of fossil fuels in the lime kiln. I am Mark Rushton and I will be your host. The work continues in efforts to completely defossilize pulp mills. Now, the switch from fossil fuels to biomass burning in the lime kiln has been made much easier than ever. Andritz Refining Technology now gives pulp mills an opportunity to fire the lime kiln with renewable fuels in a simple, ultra efficient, automated process. The lime bio powder system from Andritz is a powdering based lime kiln biofuel plant and it brings a well awaited, cost effective choice to pulp mills. So today we are delighted to welcome Andritz white liquor plant experts Yari Vorela, product manager, and Villa Seppanen, sales manager. Welcome, gentlemen, and thank you for joining us. Thank you, Mara. Thank you, Mara. Pleased to be here. Okay, so let's start with Villa. Can you tell us what biomass powder burning is all about? For sure, Mark, and uh, thank you and hello, everyone. It is very nice to be here today, and we are very excited about this and its totally new concept of burning biomass in lime kiln, which is our topic today. As some might already know, the alternative methods for firing lime kilns and also boilers have been highly anticipated. These methods need to be simple, effective and extremely energy efficient. And now we at Antit have invented such a solution for biomass refining and burning biomass in lime kiln. And the experts at Antit have adapted well-established powderizing technology, which uses special refining equipment based on disc cutting technology. So uh, actually it is totally different than conventional hammer mill technology, which is still commonly used in this area. And there are a lot of benefits in this refining solution comparing hammer mill technology, for example, lower CAPEX and OPEX costs, lower energy consumption, lower maintenance demand, and also it is very easy to operate. Thank you, Villa. This sounds very interesting indeed. So um, turning to Yari, how much of fossil fuel does an average lime kiln burn annually at a pulp mill? And uh, do you have any numbers or averages uh, of what is spent? Sure, Mark. Yes, I have. Approximately 450 tons per day can be seen as average kiln production, but even over 1,000 tons per day production exists. Fuel demand for that average burnt line production is approximately 73 cubic meters of heavy fuel oil daily consumption, meaning it has annually 25.5 thousand cubic meters. So, it is proven that it emphasizes the significant potential for reducing fossil fuel use by switching to biomass powder burning. Great. That is a significant amount of fossil fuel being used there. So, Villa, does the Andritz lime bio powder solution completely eliminate the need of fossil fuels for the lime kiln? Very good question, Mark. And yet, the Andritz lime bio powder solution is designed to completely replace fossil fuels with biomass powder and thereby eliminating totally the need for fossil fuels in the lime kiln. With Antit biomass powder burning technology, pulp mill operators have the opportunity to quickly and easily switch from burning fossil fuels to much more environmentally friendly fuel. And the switch from fossil fuels into biomass powder burning reduces also carbon footprint, it includes major savings on CO2 per ton emission penalty, cost, and volatility of fossil fuel supply. So it sounds like a, a non-brainer from an environmental point of view as well as uh, from a financial aspect. So 
Let's find out about what types of biomass the system can actually operate with and what are the challenges involved? Well, I can take this one. So I don't see too much challenges in this system, which can operate with various types of biomasses, including forest residues and pellets, but also waste food and bark can be utilized in process. Uh, most common types used in lime kilns are sawdust and pellets due to their uh, stable and controllable chemical composition. Especially due to its composition, pellets are very easy to operate. And are there any um, challenges, Yari, with uh, the biomass quality? Sure, every material has their challenges, but uh, regarding this biomass, it needs to be good quality. Uh, for every refiner, it's designed to be grind biomass. Metal and other impurities can be an issue. Even there exists a metal separator and screen. Okay, Yari, so uh, staying with you, um, can you tell us how easy it is to install the system and, and the operation? How easy is it? Well, the system is very easy to install and operate. It has a small footprint. It is simple to adapt and operate similarly to fossil fuel systems. It is also fully automated and can be integrated into existing distributed control systems called DCSs, or Unrich Automation and Digitalization Solutions for Data Gathering and Management. Installation time is relatively short and can be performed during the annual shutdown. Okay, and uh, what sort of footprint size does it have? As a footprint size, it's quite flexible, but I would say that at minimum installation requires just several tens of square meters if using or utilizing pellets. Okay, great. I mean, this all sounds very interesting, uh, but the ultimate test are the financial benefits. So, Villa, can you tell us about the bottom line and what benefits can be achieved by installing the biomass solution from a financial point of view? Of course, Mark. And yes, of course, the financial benefits are always a very interesting topic for our end customers. And uh, by far, we offer the most cost-efficient solution on the market today. The financial benefits include significant savings on fuel costs and CO2 emission penalties. With our system, customers can be assured that they are not only have a solution to deal with increasing carbon taxes, but also have a system that far exceeds any other technology on the market when it comes to quality output, energy costs, and ease of maintenance. And that said, the return on investment can be achieved in just one to two years. And for sure, now you would like to hear some facts to back this statement. And uh, for example, by utilizing wood residues and other biomasses from mill area as alternative energy sources, there are significant savings in fuel oil or natural gas costs. And also, remarkable savings in CO2 emission penalties can be achieved as environmental regulations are continually tightening across the EU and also globally. And uh, we have also discussed with climate experts about this topic, and they predict that these penalties will surely just increase significantly in the next few years. And uh, one topic also is this maintainability, because it is very great benefit for this solution. This refining system can actually achieve over 3,500 operation hours before any blade sharpening. And these rotor blades can actually be sharpened up to six times before chasing the new ones. And the sharpening can also be carried out at the mill site itself. So, I mean, the overall maintenance of this system has been very simple with a maximum stop time just Two hours. Sounds amazing. Uh, Villa, can you tell us about the ROI of the return on investment? What sort of time period are we looking at? So, yes. 
So actually, the return on investment can be achieved in just one to two years. And uh, in best case, it can be achieved only in one year because the CAPEX and OPEX costs in this solution is very minor comparing to the existing system, what are nowadays is hammerable. Wow, that ROI is extremely impressive. Excellent. So um, you've excited us with this new product. Um, tell us more about what innovation is coming in the future. I can take this one. Yes, sure. Every in invention uh, has their advantages. And we have focused on at the moment on what we have achieved. But in the meantime, we have our uh, eyes on the future. And for the next steps, we have also development work ongoing and there is more to come. Now we have focused on energy consumption and reliability and availability. But the next steps are to simplify this process even further where we can share our uh, benefits together with our customers. Sounds excellent. Thank you very much, uh, Yari and Villa, for your knowledge and experience and telling us all about this new fantastic product. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was very nice to be here. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you from my behalf also. Excellent. Andritz Lime Biopowder Biofuel Plant sounds like the perfect solution replacing fossil fuels. It's technically easy to adapt, easy and reliable to operate, as well as being financially appealing. Whatever the mill setup, Andritz can assist in the selection of the very best solution that suits all customers' environmental, financial and production goals. If you are interested in learning more about the Lime Biopowder Biofuel Plant, you can find more information in the show notes of this podcast. Thanks to all our valued listeners and goodbye. <laughs>